Okay, I mean, obviously it looks great. First thing I'd want to do is get rid of that loose line on the gate turn-in. Um, here. That loose line just makes you have to slow down to find rope support before you can move through the turn. So it just makes your turn in a little bit slower. So to, to fix that, I would go out with 20% more energy so you can shorten that pull out and start coming up into the glide while you still have max outward direction. You know, instead of doing a longer, easier pull, why don't you do a stronger, shorter pull so you have, you have rope tension as you stand up into the glide. Um, that'll just change your rhythm through the entire pass. You know, everything looks good here. You're just a little, you're getting interrupted by the boat at the finish of the turn a little bit. Um, you can mostly see it at one ball here. You know, a little bit higher, a little bit faster line, which will be facilitated through that faster gate turn in. Um, just going to buy you more time to finish. You're just getting that load before your angle's set. Um, and I'm sure, you know, as good as this pass is, there will be some residual trickle down at your harder passes, I'm sure. Um, shorten that pull out. Make the transition up into the pre-turn longer and more controlled because of it. Um, let me see what that looks like.